Welcome to a new video in my home automation series. Since I reviewed the Sonoff Blitzwolf uh, products, uh, there has been quite a lot of comments, so definitely there is an interest in Zigbee products. And at the same time, I wanted to see how the same things work in a different ecosystem. So I got a few Blitzwolf Zigbee uh, products, namely the Gateway, which is the BWS1, and I've also received a door or window opening sensor and a motion sensor also from Blitzwolf. So what I'm trying to do uh, in today's video and also in some of the future videos, uh, just to see how Zigbee works with, uh, well, in this case, Blitzwolf product, but how they work in the Tuya application. In today's video, I'm just going to focus on the gateway. Uh, what is a gateway, how you set it up, and then how you can pair some of the devices with it. And we are going to use uh, some of the follow-up videos to talk about the various sensors in more detail. If you want to use Zigbee sensors, and not only these two, because Blitzwolf has other sensors as well, and there are more sensors from different manufacturers as well, you definitely need a gateway. So this gateway is going to be the link between your Zigbee devices that are going to communicate with the gateway, and also with the cloud and with the rest of your devices and your companion app. So this gateway connects to your local Wi-Fi network, and this is how it can communicate with other devices that are not Zigbee. So if you are planning to add Zigbee devices to your home network, you definitely have to purchase a gateway first, otherwise it's not going to work. And there are multiple reasons why you would choose Zigbee over Wi-Fi, and I'm going to leave a couple of uh, examples here on the screen now. But this is definitely an investment step, so you have to start with a gateway. This product comes in a usual Blitzwolf uh, box, so it's BWIS1. And, well, there is not much to be said about this sensor. It just tells you what voltages operates in and the various frequencies that are used for either Wi-Fi and the Zigbee. And, of course, it supports the uh, Bitswolf, the Tuya Smart and the Smart Life app. And out of these three, I'm going to use Tuya Smart today. The gateway itself is this round box, which has a micro USB connector on the underside. And there is a place where the cable can go out. So it can just, you know, sit somewhere in your room. It doesn't have to be visible, so you can hide it in a cupboard or on the top of the cabinet. It's not going to be an issue. And all you need is power. So the other end of the lead is a USB type A plug and there is a USB power adapter supplied. And this is just a regular 5 volt 1 amp power supply. If you want to use your own, you can just uh, use a different USB power supply for that. And that's basically it. I've already done the pairing of this device just to make sure that it works. And as you can see, it is sitting in my living room. And the pairing was fairly easy. Once I powered it up, it gone into pairing mode immediately. So this uh, red circle indicator started blinking in various different lights, blue, red, purple. And I clicked on the plus button. I selected gateway control. And from this list, I've selected the wireless gateway uh, Zigbee in brackets. And you just follow the on-screen instructions and and then the rest of the process is pretty much like any other Wi-Fi device. So now I have the device created and connected. And if I go into it, as you can see, there is not much that you can do here. I mean, this is just a gateway. You need this in order to link some of the sensor devices that you have. Even if I go into the settings, so the only thing you can see is just, you know, rename this device, change the location, set up offline notification, and maybe share the device. So now what we need to do is we need to add some of our Zigbee devices to this Zigbee gateway. So I'm going to do the motion sensor first, and this has a separate really tiny, tiny on-off switch. So I'm going to switch it on, and I'm going to click on Add Subdevice. And then it says that the device needs to be blinking fast, so there is a reset button. I'm going to click that as well, and click and hold for five seconds. And it is blinking now quickly, so I say that the LED is blinking, and now the gateway is going to look for this sensor, and hopefully within a few seconds it will be found, so we will have this new sensor added to our device. It's done already, and I've already received the motion sensor alerts, so that was fairly quick. And I'm going to do the same with this window sensor. I've already removed the back, which is here, so I have a switch here that I turn on, and I also have a reset button, so I'm going to click this one and hold it for five seconds. And this one is blinking now. Oh, let me just finish the registration of this device. At the new sub-device, LED is blinking. And then we just wait for a few more seconds. And this one is added as well. And they're going to be in the living room too. 
So now I have two devices and the motion sensor is already working. And as you can see, it is really just to configure the devices. I mean, you can go into the device details and that's the motion sensor. So you can see that it has a high battery level. But other than that, it's going to show you if there is motion detected or not. And the same with the door sensor. So it's just going to show the exact state and it's going to show you some history as well and the battery level. So if I bring the magnet over, now we can see that the uh, device has closed. And I think this is where I'm going to leave this video. As I said, it's going to cover just the basics how to set up the gateway and how to get some of the devices connected. I mean, if, if you buy any other device, the linking process is going to be pretty much the same with this one. So in the next few videos, I'm going to dive into the details of how you can use the motion sensor and the door open sensor, what are the different features and how you can use the scenes and the uh, automation to control other Tuya devices that you have in the Tuya app. If you are interested in this product, I'm going to leave purchase links in the video description. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.